Hi Queens, today I want to specifically talking about rejection and how to turn somebody down with ease. So stay tuned for that. Hi, if you don't know who I am, I'm Cindy V. King. I'm a creator of Calling My King. I help transform women to create lasting love through Vedic astrology, neuroscience, and transactional analysis so that she becomes the queen of love. So you already made a decision today that maybe things are not working out for you the way that it, whatever is happening in your world and you just have to let somebody know this. The best way I would approach this is actually have a phone call conversation to have and that could be through FaceTime or that's even could be over the phone. But what's really important, you set an intention by making an appointment and you let them know like um, there needs to be a conversation that needs to happen and if they're available sometime either today, this afternoon, and hopefully today. Here's the thing, you might be in a situation where there's a pink elephant in the room and it's not working out for you and you just have to let them know. So this is what I would have to say. I really enjoy the time that we have spent together so far at this point, but unfortunately there's a few things that has came up and it's a bit of a concern or um, that I'm not ready or you can put in any words that sounds a little bit more suitable to you in a negative context that it's not working out for you and you know I want to make sure that I want to respect you and your time as well and that being said I think it's important to I want to wish you the very best of luck of finding love that you really deserve at this time being and when you say those things people really appreciate that I'm getting to the point a lot of uh, dating in general has been ghosting that is a form of emotional abuse when there is an emotional abuse this person is even it's not even right for you or you're not the right person I think it's a good practice in general to let people know where you stand how you feel and what you don't appreciate as well so you understand where they're coming from and if they start to lash out I think it's really important that you acknowledge some of the stuff they feel because they feel rejected and hurt and it's absolutely feel normal is I want to let people know but it's not okay to cuss your the other person out that's really unprofessional and in some ways and it's really disrespectful for you you can set boundaries for that you can always request let's go for eight weeks of um, no contact and that means either through social media whatever you guys agree upon or what you want as well so that it gives them time for the other person to like either heal detox because detoxing is very painful I just want to let you know that detoxing is very 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 painful if I can stress that even further <laughs> um, I think it's really important here to like allow them to reset and I don't think you should go ahead and be friends right away I think it's like you can maybe reset that conversation after eight weeks if being friends is important then that conversation could happen but I think in cycle wise detoxing is so important so that being said I want to conclude our video today and I really wanted you to share some of the stuff that you might have experienced and I really hope this actually has helped you it gives you some sort of strategy of how about to do it as well all right thank you so much for taking the time to be here I'll see you guys in the next video queens Bye. Glad you enjoyed the contents. Give me a like and share and subscribe. The bell button might be helpful. Did you get a chance to check out my Super Queen membership? Because we go into deep dive of your love life and maybe use some practice and connect with other heart centered queen as well. Join us. The link is in the description. I got over 300 videos on this channel. And I think I picked the next one is right for you. So see you there.